go. That's the photo I want. Thank you, Cameron! Okay, guys, so we're still doing some drifts. The guys uh, hooked a few coppers and they've uh, one lost and some bites lost. So I've become the trace boy. So I'm helping the, the guys uh, make some traces for when they they want to go and try and target uh, other fish. So yeah, ten a hook, one more hook snoot, about I don't know 700, and then sinker line a little bit longer, or a meter, a meter and a half, and uh, then you just go down with live baits and big smelly baits and catch a punzi or um, other fish something else other than a copper uh, obviously that's going to be a bit shallower so yeah thing is there's not much i would have loved to come out here and troll and catch tuna and game fish and all of that there's not much here to catch so uh into at this part of the year Hey, keep it. Huh? That's a light bed for Papa. That's a light bed for Papa. Are you on? Yeah, that's Okay, guys, so we're gonna double up here. Boys are bending. Uh, Sean, I think you can cover up. Yeah, Slowly, slowly, slowly. Hey guys, so I'm just gonna try and help help uh, Sean land these fish. Marky! Come Marky! Yeah, Sean is moving this thing. Sean is doing well! Sean is doing well! <laughs> Jump on the other side of the boat, Sylvester. Let's balance the weight a little bit. Wait, 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 Okay guys, we're gonna try and release this copper. Another second or third copper that we've got. This one, I've been holding in the water for a long time now. And uh, I hope he's gonna go. So, there we go. We're trying to not kill any fish. I know it's fishing at this depth, it's difficult. But, uh, yeah, we're trying to put, put the ones that can survive back. We caught a copper. copper. We caught a copper. It's a very strong fish, first time. And first time fishing with this setup. And uh, Captain Cameron put us on the fish. Really appreciate it. And there's another one. Double up. Thanks, guys. Hello, Sean. Hey, Sean. Thanks, thanks. Mark, ready to sit together. Thanks. Just try to. Not damage the kill, I'm just holding it in the side of the plate, yeah? Hey, big lay bed for Sean. It's so difficult to try and release this fish. As much as we want to, you know, we want to conserve. It's, uh, you bring them up from 100 meters. And, uh, yeah. 
That's good. Okay, guys, so unfortunately, this one, this one didn't make it. It's not gonna, we're not gonna survive. So, okay, so we're gonna use No, this we're gonna have to just do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Take it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay guys, so we are uh, done fishing for coppers. What an awesome experience. It's something I've never done before. I've, something that I've always dreamed of trying to catch. I mean, you see all the pictures of these huge coppers and you know what, Cameron made that happen for us today. Uh, I was lucky enough to get invited with a group of guys that came fishing and Cameron asked me to jump on the boat and join them. It was unbelievable. I mean, from the bite to landing them. One I did safely release. And the other one we tried for almost half an hour. So yeah, eventually that fish didn't make it, it died. So um, I'm going to give it to the locals that uh, uh, help uh, Cameron with his uh, launching the boat and stuff. So they, they're going to have some good fish to eat for this next couple of days. It's probably around a 20, 20 kilo fish that unfortunately passed away. Uh, but still, you know, just such an awesome experience being here. Uh, being out with Cameron on his boat. That's a lovely boat. It's beautiful, right? So well. And uh, yeah, so we're gonna head back. Time to get home now. Uh, we've got one more day left and tomorrow we're gonna try and come out from the boat quickly and then uh, just fish a little bit inshore. Uh, maybe try and catch a bunzi and then we're gonna have a... Uh, yeah, that's the plan for tomorrow.